Introducing DBase Plus 11, Understanding DM Assist. So what we're going to be looking at now is the Table in Relationship pane. This is where the design surface of the relationships between tables is defined. It's also where you pick the data that's going to be shown in the Data pane. So let's go ahead and take a look how this works inside of DBase Plus 11. So as you can see, I'm opening up the designer now. And as you can see, I have my, over in my data connection pane, you'll see all of our databases. I'm going to go into DBase samples. I'm going to double click on that. Because I'm in a BDE alias, it's going to go ahead and add the session and also the name of the DBase samples. Notice I have customers and order numbers and orders. So let's go ahead and drop in an order. So I'm going to drag that using my mouse. And then I'm going to go ahead and put order items. And this time I'm going to double click on it and notice that it goes up inside. Now, on this design surface, I can move this around. And as I click on each one, you can see that the data represents a little bit different. Now, I want to go from order ID to order ID. So I go ahead, click that, and I get this parent child wizard to come up and ask what I want to do with this. So if I look at this, I want to go ahead and set up my parent child options and I'm going to go ahead and set up an index and I'm going to say OK. Now once I have the tables and the relationships defined inside of there, I can do other things. By right mouse clicking on it, notice that I can come in and I can add a database connection, a table, query from SQL file, stored procedure, add a session if I'm in a BDE alias. So it allows me to interact with the table representations over in the over on the data connection pane and it allows me to interact with the data and the relationships of that data on on the design surface. That is the advantage of using DM Assist inside of DBase Plus 11. Thanks for watching this introduction to DBase Plus 11's DM Assist.